Hello everybody, uh, in this video, uh, a cooking with Isaac video, we're going to be making some banana chocolate cake. Uh, this was my uncle's recipe. We found it when we were going through his stuff. We took a picture and we scanned it and then I wrote it down again because I really did not want to lose it because it was good last time I made it. I have an extra light here, as you can see. Well. We'll keep it on for now because it kind of helps because um, otherwise this is as bright as I could get and I wanted it as absolutely bright as possible. So anyways, the first thing you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to 350. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get your ingredients out, all right? What you're going to need, some sugar, some brown sugar, butter. You need one cup of butter. You're also going to need some eggs and some sour cream, some bananas, because this is banana chocolate cake, baking soda, Okay, I got all my ingredients out. Um, this is what you're going to need. Rewind if you need to, but this is what you're going to need for this recipe. You can have the chopped nuts if you want. Um, of course, uh, you know, go to the store, get this stuff. If you don't have a mixer, which I don't know if you can see it, you might want to get one. This one is a KitchenAid. Now, what I can gather, I'm willing to bet that he mixed everything by hand. I'm going to do it the modern way and use a mixer. You could use a hand mixer, stand mixer, it doesn't really matter. Or you could use your hands, which I'm sure he started with a spoon, so that's okay. Alright, so we preheated the oven. The first thing you're going to want to do is in this bowl, you're going to want to start creaming both of your sugars and your butter. You're going to want one cup of sugar. This is a half. I usually use the smaller ones because it's easier. One cup of sugar. All right, next ingredient is going to be your brown sugar. So we'll do another cup of brown sugar. One cup of this. That is the other half, so that is one cup of brown sugar. It's probably a good idea to soften these, so throw them in the microwave for 20 seconds. And now you have some slightly softened butter. Okay, so you're going to add the butter. There's your other stick, throw it in, and then my hands are all dirty. So here's your, you know, your shit, it's all in there, and then you're gonna come over here, and you're gonna put this down, and you're gonna move this over to see if maybe the freaking camera can see it. Okay, well anyways, there's that. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on a nice, you know, setting, sort of, sort of a medium lowish setting. And then when this gets creamed, sort of put together, we'll come back. Now one of my tricks that I like to do, take one of these, and after a while, shit gets stuck in the beater. So kind of, you know, it, sort of do that, and then put it back down, and then you can let it go more. Once it looks like this, go ahead and slow the mixer down to the slowest setting. Okay, now you're going to add some of the wet ingredients. You want to add three eggs to this mixture. There's one egg. Two eggs. There's your second egg. And here's your third egg. Okay, so you add your eggs now. Go ahead and just throw those away. Now, I had to move you back, but you're going to take four heaping tablespoons of sour cream you want four heaping tablespoons. Heaping. There's one, two, get a nice go down there. Three, four. You might have to cut them off pretty good, but you gotta get Now you're gonna add your bananas. Now, here's where, you know, shit, shit gets weird. So where's my bananas? Get out a cup, take a banana, open it, get the weird brown parts off. 
And then you can sort of, well, let me, there we go. Mm, okay, now, one cup. So like, put it down in there, smash it down like that, okay? See what I did? Okay, now take another one. Squish it down in there, okay? You have to have banana. That's an essential ingredient. That's about a cup of banana, wouldn't you say? Now, you're gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna have to scrape that out. There we go. Get the banana down in there. And while you're at it, take your spatula. There you go. Go like a medium high on that one. Probably two bananas would be good for this recipe. Is you want to add your baking soda, your salt, and your flour. So now comes the fun part. We're going to turn this guy down. We're going to add the baking soda. So now i got some dry ingredients. And for baking soda, you really just want to add about two teaspoons. So here's the one from the vanilla. And you just want to pinch. So take your salt here. And like I said, just, just a pinch. This is uh, objective, but or subjective. Just, just get it all in there. There you go. Three cups of flour. I'm going to use the half again. Slowly add the flour. And you want to go low on the mixer too. Oh, shit. So if you guys can see, that's mixed pretty thoroughly. Now you're going to add your vanilla, your nuts if you have them, and your chocolate chips. You want one teaspoon of it. So here's a teaspoon. Unwrap that vanilla. Pour it over the mixer because sometimes it spills a little bit. And then add that in. So now, if you wanted to add your one cup of chopped nuts, this is where you would do it. But we don't use them in our house because Dad and I are allergic. So now you take your chocolate chips, and now you want one cup of chocolate chips, okay? So here's how I like to do it. Because I already have a half out, you know, pour some into there. The mixer head is going to bounce a little bit, but that's okay. And then there's your other one. Get a little more, and then there you go. You gotta get them all in there. This now, you wanna just let this mix thoroughly. All right, so now that that's done, you might be wondering why I have recipes and shit out. Well, when you write down something and screw it up, then you need the other recipe. So, you got a couple options. You can do a 10 inch tube pan, or bun pans, or do what I do, get you some little uh, banana bread pan damn thingies. You need some store brand vegetable spray, brand cooking spray, and you just, you, you know, do that, and then do that so in the corners the shit doesn't stick. Now, you're going to come in here, and this is where it gets tricky, hopefully you can see, is you're going to pour the shit into little, it's pretty thick, it's supposed to be. This is kind of like a banana bread if you want to put it like that. Um, I grew up calling it banana bread, he called it banana cake. And then I was like, oh, this is uh, banana bread. Okay, and then the last thing to do is, this is on 350, so you're going to take them. Can you guys see that? Hopefully you can. You're going to take one of them. There you go. And you're going to take the other one, or three if you have three. Now here's the important part. You put this in here for an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. Now, if you're doing two little pans like I'm doing, go 40 minutes. He used two pans or bunt pans. That's going to be an hour to an hour and 15 minutes, but this is 40. We'll come back in 40 minutes. 
All right, it's, sorry about the noise. It's a little loud in here because we're cooking dinner. But as you can see, they've now been in the oven at 350 for about 50 minutes, I'd say. Went a little longer than 40, but they needed it. Of course, we used a cake tester to see if they're done, and they are. Um, so yeah, we have now finished the recipe, and we are finishing up the video. So thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and click like if you like what you see, and follow me on the web, wix.com slash theelevatorworld slash fans. And try these cakes at home. You saw the recipe. Bye-bye.